Hi everyone, in this video I am going to discuss about Snellen's chart. I am Julian K. Thomas, faculty working in Triplum College of Nursing. The objectives of this discussion include the group should be able to define vision, define Snellen's chart, enlist the purpose of Snellen's chart and describe the procedure how to use the Snellen's chart. What is vision? The resolving power of the eye or the ability to see two separate objects as separate. So visual acuity is commonly referred to as the sharpness of vision measured by the ability to discern the letters or numbers at a given distance according to a fixed standard. How to assess the visual acuity of a person? So a visual acuity of a person can be easily assessed with the help of a Snellen's chart. A Snellen's chart is an eye chart that can be used to measure visual acuity. Snellen's chart are named after the Dutch ophthalmologist Herman Snellen who developed this chart in 1862 as a measurement tool for the acuity formula developed by his professors Francis Corleus Donders. So many ophthalmologists and vision scientists now use an improved chart known as Lokmar chart apart from this Snellen's chart. Purpose of Snellen's chart The main purpose of the Snellen's chart is to measure the visual acuity of a person or to assess the sharpness of vision. The farther down the chart the patient can read, the better their visual acuity is. Type of Snellen's chart. There are mainly three types of Snellen's chart. Picture chart, alphabet chart and e-chart. Mainly picture chart and e-chart is commonly used to assess the visual acuity of an illiterate person. If a person is unable to read or write, the visual acuity can be assessed using a picture chart or the e-chart. In this, that person has to say what is the picture in the picture chart or the direction of the E, whether the E is directed towards left or the E is directed towards the right. So based on identification of the direction of the E, we can identify the visual acuity of the person. In alphabet chart, usually used for a illiterate person. So if the patient can read and write, they can read the alphabets, what is there in the alphabet chart. Snellen's chart, it is a familiar sight in the physician and optometrics clinic. Usually, it consists of 11 lines of block letters. It is also known as optotypes, which are constructed according to strict geometrical rules and whose size decreases on each lower line of the chart. Once it comes down, the size of the letters decreases. In the traditional chart, the first line traditionally consists of the single letter E and only 9 letters are commonly used in the traditional chart. They are C, D, E, F, L, O, P, T and Z. The principle behind this challenge chart is that each individual letters subtends an angle of 5 minutes and each component of letters subtends an angle of 1 minute at the nodal point of the eye from the distance in meters are written as numerical. So Snellen's chart is having different numbers of letters in different rows and the letter at top line should be read clearly at a distance of 6 meter. Similarly, the letters are 36, 24, 18, 12, 9 and 6 respectively. So what is the numerator and the denominator indicates in the measurement of a Snellen's chart? So the numerator is the distance at which the patient is sitting from the chart and the denominator is the distance at which should be able to read the last line that the person is able to read. While checking the visual acuity of a person using Snellen's chart, we need to ask the patient to stand at a distance of 6 meter or 20 feet. Either 20 feet distance or 6 meter distance, the patient has to stand or the patient should be away from the Snellen's chart. Then we need to ask the patient to close one eye and then we need to ask the patient to read the Snellen's chart from the lower line. So while assessing the visual acuity using Snellen's chart from a distance of 20 feet or 6 meters, the subjects read each line of the chart using only one eye until they can no longer identify the letter shapes. 
each row of letters is assigned a ratio which indicates the visual acuity required to read it and the ratio for the lowest line a person can read represents the individual's visual acuity for that eye. So the normal vision is defined as 20 by 20 or 6 by 6. So a ratio less than 1 indicates worse than normal vision and a ratio greater than 1 indicates better than normal vision. So the normal vision it is defined as 20 by 20. For example, if the patient's visual acuity is marked as 20 by 40, which indicates that that patient can read the second last line but a normal person a normal person with good visual acuity can read that line at a distance of 40 feet but he can read that line only at a distance of 20 feet so the procedure of testing includes distance of 6 meter is taken as this distance is assumed that the rays are almost parallel and the patient exert minimum accommodation the chart should be properly illuminated or adequate lighting should be there. Patient made to wear trial frame. It is adjusted according to patient's interpupillary distance. Ask the patient to read with one eye from the top letter while the contralateral eye is closed with occluded in the trial frame. The patient can read from a distance of 6 meter or 20 feet. His vision is recorded as 6 by 6 or 6 by 9 or 6 by 12 or 6 by 18 or 6 by 24, 6 by 36 and 6 by 60. So have the patient stand 20 feet from the chart. Tell the patient to first cover the right eye then the left eye. And lastly read the chart with both the eyes. While the patient covers the right eye first, tell the patient to read the lowest line they can read with ease. So repeat this with the left eye and then with the both eyes. So the result of this Snellens chart, if the patient can read line 8, their vision is 20 by 20. That is the last line, their vision is 20 by 20. Which means that the patient can see the same line of letters at a 20 feet that a person with normal vision can see at 20 feet. So here we are going to compare the visual acuity of the affected patients with the normal patient. So however let's say the patient can read only line 6 with the left eye. This means the patient has 20 by 30 in his eye. So which means the patient can see at 20 feet what a, nor what a person with normal vision can see this line at a 30 feet. The findings of Snellen's chart include 20 by 20 vision is considered as normal vision, meaning we can read at 20 feet a letter that most people should be able to read at 20 feet. If a patient uh, reads 20 by 200 line, that means they can read 20 feet letters that people with normal vision can read at a 200 feet distance. So 20 by 200 is the visual acuity. It is very poor vision. And this 20 by 200 is considered as legal blindness. So to conclude, we can say Snellen's chart is an important tool to assess the visual acuity of a person. Careful monitoring is required to assess the visual acuity of patients. Patients as well need to be prepared for the better result. Thank you.